puta. This is your sign to go on a hot girl walk, even though it's... <sighs> Never mind. I forgot so about my diet and accidentally ordered three cakes. I only wanted a bite, but I ate them all. I feel so guilty. I will definitely hit the gym tomorrow. <laughs> What's your biggest flex? I don't want to sound cocky or anything, but like, like, I'm really pretty. A lot of people just like want to talk to me. Hey. Um. Shit. Rejected. When I tell you this man is so fine. When I tell you this man is scrump dilly -ishes, he made me wanna Oh God. Stop it. Get some help. Hey guys, guess who I'm with? Zaddy. My Zaddy. What are you putting with me, me, my Zaddy? You off that video. You don't think I'm married. Who are you? Can someone explain to me how there are grown ass men in this world that are giving women the silent treatment? The girl you're talking to right now, she's the one. Never leave her. Trust me. Stop the cap. <laughs> Stop the cap right now. Stop the cap. You cannot pick your bedtime. You're six. You want to pick your gender? That's totally fine. Hey, yo, what the fuck? Oh. Bitch. Embarrassing. <laughs> One thing that you don't like about men in our generation. Everything. I... Elaborate. Everything. I don't like everything. All men are shit. Who the fuck are you, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> it's an evil world we live in. My name is Yua. Yua, are you currently dating someone? No, I don't have a boyfriend now. Why don't you have a boyfriend? You're really pretty. I don't think so. I think um, nobody likes me. I have low confidence. I think I'm ugly and I have fat body in Korea. What makes you think so? When I watch TV, everyone has a um, slim body. So I think I have to look like that. What type of guys do you like to date? Um, My type is... To be honest, I like long hair guy because I think they are very sexy. I like strong men, so I want to protect me, <laughs> someone. What is your MBTI? ESTP. And uh, last question, what is your Instagram ID? My Instagram ID is MYU underbar A underbar. Yeah. You gonna reply to your DMs? Yeah, yeah sure. You are nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. Yeah. Why do you think you're single at 29? I think I just have too high of standards. I just have a really hard time feeling someone that I really click with and that I want to spend time with. What would you say makes your standards so high? I don't like men who like fuck around and I like a high quality man. It's really hard to find high quality men these days. What does a high quality man look like to you? A high quality man is someone who doesn't but their partying first is really into like their health, wellness, career, their overall happiness, well traveled. That's a high quality man. How much does a high quality man make in Miami? Uh, 350k plus. So 250k, mm, kind of mid tier. Yeah, I would say so. How much do you make um, annually? 125. Do you think that that amount of money makes you a high quality woman, or does it play a factor at all? Um, absolutely. I especially think in Miami, like not a lot of women work, so I think that makes me an extremely high quality woman. But the reason that she's single is because the men that she's attracted to, the men that are a type, the men that earn over $350,000 a year, are not approaching her and talking to her. Now what frustrates her and makes her angry is the men that she doesn't want, the men that she's not attracted to, the men that earn thirty to $50,000 a year, are the ones that are approaching her and talking to her. Now she earns 125 k which makes her a high earning woman. Now, 
high earning women usually date across and up. They don't date down. Now, if she doesn't lower her standards and starts operating in reality and stops being delusional, she'll quickly realize that she's not single by choice. Her choices have made her single. You know Matt, right? Yeah, I know he Matt. He follows you. That's my buddy. Oh my god, I love him. Tell him I want to get with him too. <laughs> okay. Good lord. So I much. love Matt, right? <laughs> That's my daughter. What do I got? Great comedian. You got any more crushes you want to holler at? Um, Joe Burrow? James Conner, Joe Burrow, um, who else we got in there? Any big black linebacker? Hello darkness, my old friend. Yeah, I love them all. She belongs to the streets. This is crazy, and right in front of her father, you can see the pain and disappointment in his eyes. And this is why I want sons. My boyfriend and I are in a fully committed, um, one-sided, open relationship. Oh. And my longest relationship was like three years. One-sided? So like, are you open or is he open? So like, I'm not allowed to get with other people, but um, he's allowed to, you know, like, get with whoever he wants, yeah. <laughs> Who initiated that? Uh, we, we, both, we both agreed to it, yeah. I'm like, perfectly fine with it. Mm, interesting. At what point in the relationship, like, was it monogamous at one point, then you opened it up strictly for him, or um, just from the get-go, it was like, <laughs> yeah. you don't see other guys, um, I'm gonna see other chicks. Right, so, well, I mean, on our second date, he flew me and this other influencer out to an island, and he was, like, talking to her previously, what? and then... An island? Yeah, to an island, yeah. It was, it was, it was fun. Um, but yeah, then he decided he wanted to, like, talk to me, so I guess from the get-go, I was just, like... I just kind of expected that that's how it was going to be, and, like, you know... What would you say to all the women that say, never depend on a man? I'd say, well, see how it's worked out for women in, in the past hundred years, you know, high suicide rates and depression rates, anxiety. It has not worked out well for a woman. That self-love, feminism, it's just ended up in women being sadder than ever. So if they want to try it out, they can go ahead, but it's not a happy ending. At least the numbers don't show that. My man wake me up at 421 a.m. and tell me he hungry, he wants some steak and mashed potatoes made from scratch. Homemade mashed potatoes, I'ma do it. With a smile on my motherfucking face, cause he pay those bills. Yeah, he don't gotta ask for head, baby. He gets that on the regular. That ain't not to him, cause he know he getting it on the regular. He ain't gonna get no attitude, no back talk from me. No, sir. You when a girl orgasms yeah. in makeup, um, <laughs> her body releases oxytocin, yeah. the hormone, which is the bonding hormone. Yeah. So it's like when you have really good sex with a guy, you are naturally bonding yourself emotionally to him, which is why a lot of the time if a girl is kind of just having casual sex and stuff, a lot of the time she actually won't orgasm because she gets to that level of climax, especially for a woman, there's a level of vulnerability yeah. that has to be there. And if she's having sex in a typical masculine way, which is, oh, I'm just here to have fun and that's it, then it means she's not really open to interact intimacy for most women it takes intimacy for them to have that amazing climax so when you do you're like your body's like hold him tight. yeah 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 hold him close. keep him close keep pal. him close <laughs> yeah. that's what after you do the first thing you want to do is you want to cuddle yeah i know, know yeah I that's mean? wild yo yo tell me what this is whoa yo someone just sent me this yo tell me what this is about What's that look for? You're not gonna tell me what this is about? Bro, you... No, no, we didn't talk about this, bro. You... Talk about what? We talk don't... about what? It's a fucking party! Don't bother trying to get an explanation and a justification for her actions. Jesus can't save these hoes! Why are you trying? What make you think you greater than Jesus, nigga?